Welcome to a new episode of So This Happened. Here we highlight and review some of the major stories in the news. Be free to drop your comments on any of the stories. It's been such a sad time for many families this period. And now, in less than 24 hours, Nigeria lost two popular people, Ibidu Igodalo, former beauty queen and senator Adebayo Oshinowo, a.k.a. Pepe. Both deaths have touched the hearts of a lot of Nigerians as heartfelt condolences continue to pour in from different people in the country. The president, Major General Muhammad Buhari, retired, mourned the death of the senator, saying, he worked diligently to advance this administration's objective of building a better and prosperous Nigeria. He was a workaholic lawmaker whose experience in the politics of the nation, Lagos and the Senate cannot be discountenanced. The Senate has lost one of its best brains, the Red Chamber. And some tributes to late Ibidun Igodalo reads, Life, Ibidun Igodalo, just gone, like a candle in the wind. May God comfort our very dear Pastor Itwa and the rest of the family in the way that only he can in Jesus' name. Obi is a Kwesili. It is painful that she had to leave us at this time. I send my sincere condolences to her husband, Pastor Itwa Igodalo, who is a perfect gentleman. At this time of grief, one would only pray God to grant late Mrs. Igodalo a peaceful resting place and her family the fortitude to bear the loss. Femi Bajabiamila. It was later revealed by late Mrs. Ibidun's close friend, T.Y. Belo, that her last wish was to help 40 couples dealing with fertility issues through our foundation to mark our 40th birthday. The WhatsApp message read, Sweetie, it's my 40th next month and I want to help 40 couples to have their babies. What do you think? That's all I want. No party, no surprise, nothing. I just want to make 40 homes happy. Let's all say a prayer for their souls. Two robbery suspects have been arrested by the Lagos State Police Command. Chino So Michael, an Afro hip hop singer, and Chimelu Victory, a pianist. It was gathered that the suspect generated a fake credit alert to pay a dispatch rider for an iPhone 11 Pro Max valued at 450,000 Naira and resold it for 350,000 Naira. The suspect said this was their third time selling an iPhone 11 during the lockdown that hunger drove them into it. Their statement read, During the lockdown, nothing was going on and we didn't have anything to eat for two weeks. We already owed all the store owners in the neighborhood. Nobody was ready to sell to us on credit anymore. We had to devise a means to survive the lockdown. Michael fractured his arm and bruised his chain while he and Victory jumped from the first floor of their apartment in Aja on sighting the place. Hmm, that must have been some Michael Schofield stunts. Fans have thanked German referee Marco Fritz for saving Nigerian forward Taiwo Awoni, who suffered a concussion in May's one new loss to Husband in the Bundesliga on Sunday. Fritz prevented Awoni from swallowing a stung after the Nigerian was involved in a head collision with Husband's defender Felix Udokai. Awoni was subsequently rushed to the hospital, after which the club confirmed he was recovering. He wrote on his Instagram page, The last thing I can remember from this scene is how I hit the ball with my head. Then I passed out. It was difficult for me on the field to regain consciousness and was really awake. And it also took a little while before I could remember everything. But I feel much better now. The referee's action, however, did not go unnoticed as it got praises from fans. Thank God this referee is not the racist type. Taiwo Awoni would have been dead. Fatai or Lajide. This referee deserves to be honored by the Bundesliga, UEFA, and FIFA for helping Awoni. God bless him. Seeing this in the midst of the racist hacks and Black Lives Matter protests going on in different parts of the world shows there's hope. 
Olaleye Dada. We have come to the end of this episode. You're welcome to drop your comments on any of the stories. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on all our social media handles for by the second news updates. My name is Adebinkbe Olajiga. Thank you for watching.